Canada? Uh, well, it, it wasn't a decision so much as a marriage. Uh, I married a Canadian whom I met in New York. Um, we were graduate students in 1966, okay. and he, uh, after about four weeks of knowing each other, so he's from Aurelia, Ontario, and I'm from Houston, Texas, and we met in front of the bulletin board uh, at Union Theological Seminary okay. and Columbia University, which is where I was getting a degree. And he said, uh, would, I, would I marry him? And I thought that was a great idea. Now, having said that, it was a very good year to leave the United States. Uh, something I've written about since. Um, in, in 2019, I published a book called American Refugees, Turning to Canada for Freedom. And one of the things the book, the book is profiles of human beings, but they're from every era wave of immigration mm -hmm. from the, we don't think of Americans as immigrants. Uh, most of us speak English. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very close geographically. Um, but there are some big differences, and there are major reasons that Americans get to Canada. Mm -hmm. So my era of immigration was um, the Vietnam resistor era. It's a tumultuous time. Uh, actually, um, the year I actually came to Canada, centennial year, 1967, was when most of the Vietnam uh, refugees mm -hmm. came to Canada. For me, it was also the civil rights era. Um, so there were many reasons it was a good country to leave. But the actual way I got here was by marriage. Mm. But was there a moment for you growing up, or perhaps a memory, when you knew that uh, a pursuits in the arts was actually going to be your passion? Yes and no. <laughs> um, I think I realized the power of the theater when I was quite young, maybe about eight years old. I went to a production of the Greek play Antigone in my local community center in Houston. Mm. And um, the play was directed by an amazing teacher I later had as a, a drama teacher. And this was in the Black Community Center, so the whole cast was black. Uh, everybody involved was black. It never occurred to me until later that there were problems <laughs> with black people being in Greek plays because that, so it was, Magnificent, um, Antigone is a very powerful play, and as an eight-year-old, I thought, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. That having been said, it's not that I think theater is the only medium where important things happen. And it's also not that um, it's, the, the, the love of my life. What I actually am in love with is the kind of communication where you can make something happen, yeah. where you can change people's lives and change your own life. So whatever medium that happens in, I'm very glad to be participating. Mm -hmm. And what does this award mean to you now? The Governor General's Lifetime Achievement Award. The Governor General's Performing Arts Award means to me, or at least feels like to me, that I have been embraced by the whole country. And that's a wonderful feeling for an immigrant, for someone who sometimes thought they were dropping ideas into a vacuum which is what artists frequently feel like. Um, so it's a wonderful kind of affirmation and encourages me 
in spite of my senior years, to keep going. Mm.